This is Puppets by Arlie. I'm Arlie, and this is how you make marionette arms. The style of arm I'm doing is a, a stuffed bicep, and then a piece of a one inch dowel for the forearm, and then either a piece of wire or a piece of string to install the hand. For the forearm, I'm using one inch dowels. This, this forearm piece is two inches long, and it will have a deep hole in it so that the hand piece can fit in. And then on the side, it'll have a hole that can either put a wire or a string through to anchor the hand inside. And then for the inside of the elbow crook, there's a divot cut out, and this is what you'll glue your stuffed bicep arm onto and it will cause it to have a really loose elbow joint once it's glued on. Be sure to check always as you're making your arms that the arms look an appropriate length with your puppet because arms tend to get longer and longer so try to avoid that mistake. Now in order to cut the forearm go back to your original sketch and measure the length. And I like to edit out about an inch of space. That way there's enough room for joints. And this is about three inches long, so I'm going to start off by cutting two pieces of one inch dowel that's two inches. This is a one inch dowel. Mark two, two, two inch pieces. And then we're also going to cut a 90 degree angle for an elbow wedge. So I'm just going to use the right angle of my ruler here to draw a little guideline for that. And go cut this out on the bandsaw. Once you have your two forearms cut out, take your hands and the diagonal cut is going to be the inside of the elbow. You need to make a hole that will attach the hand on. And the hole for the hand needs to go directly on the same side as the elbow. so that when the elbow is facing inside, the thumb is upright. And also, while you're marking, Mark the very center of the inside of the wrist. Next, you're going to drill a hole into the wrists so that the loops of wire from the hands can be hidden inside. And you'll need to drill a hole that's long enough so that the wires are down in the wrist. Choose a drill bit that is not as wide across as your wrist. Right now, I'm using a one inch dowel, so I'm using a 9 16 inch drill bit. And you're going to have to drill far enough down so that the wires of the hands are inside. For my particular drill bit, it starts to divot out 
at uh, about an inch down. So I'm going to use that as an internal marker for as deep as I need to make this hole. Take a scrap of woven fabric that won't stretch. Uh, I have a scrap of just plain uh, muslin. And you're going to make a long rectangle that is an inch and a half across. And again, puppets of different sizes you'll have to design the exact length you need. So here's my strip of an inch and a half across and always save your scraps because that's what I use to stuff the arms with. And on your arms always be sure that there's a large amount of unstuffed part that you can use to glue to the puppet. I usually add about two inches. This will glue to the torso and it will glue to the elbow. Okay, so I have two long strips of one and a half inch rectangles. I'm gonna sew a tube uh, and I'm gonna sew a five eighths inch seam on each side. You could also design it so that you can fold over and sew it just depending on your side. I sew these two Rectangles together at a 5 h inch seam allowance. Do the other side. And then fold it in half, cut it in two. Then once you have your two tubes, I have a tube turning tool, but turn those tubes around You can also use a safety pin to do this. Or just use your hands. All right, now, so our tubes are turned with the seam allowance to the inside. Now, make a seam allowance that's two inches, and this will be the section that we glue to the torso. And they are sewn together at the moment, but there are our two arms. And then, I like to stuff with uh, scrap fabric, you can also use polyester fiber fill. But since it'll be under a costume, it doesn't need to be incredibly smooth. And for my design, the stuffed part should be about three inches long. So, as you're stuffing, keep measuring. And always, always check back on the puppet that you're going to put on and be sure it's looking right as you're building. So I have a huge garbage bag of scrap fabric next to my workspace and I use this to stuff things. And then you can get the stuffed part at about three inches, put a pin in it, that 
three inch mark. So now I got two forearms with about a three inch stuffing. Then on your machine, set the needle to the farthest over uh, to one side that it can go. And then with a regular straight stitch, stitch across and seal it up. All right, there are our two arms ready to move on to the next step. Glue the forearms onto the biceps. So you're going to glue, take the side of the elbow divot, place that against the fabric, and put the line of uh, the end of the dowel flush with your stitching so that it makes a nice elbow joint. Then put some glue on and tape it in place. I'm using wood glue here. And smear it around so it uh, gets all over that dowel. And for drying, just use plain old masking tape. And again, elbow crick towards the glue, flush with uh, the stitching, and tape the gluey fabric around. You could also use rubber bands to hold them in place. Same thing. Put some glue on. Get the divot cut, put that down against the fabric. Put the end of your doll, dowel at the stitch line. And put on a rubber band for drying. Now we're going to install the wire that will hold the hand on. So these arms are all dry now. I can take off the rubber bands and I'm gonna go ahead and separate them. So I have my thumb sticking up. I have a right and a left. I am using one inch dowels. So when I take my wire and thread it through, I'm going to want a wire that is two inches. So I'm going to mark some two inch sections on this wire. And these two pieces of wire will fit through here with the hand on it. So the first thing I need to do is I need to bend over that much. Put your wires into a vice grip and you're going to bend a right angle on both wires at the same length. Now, being sure that there is a right and a left, make a mark as to where the thumb should be upright. Then you 
thread your wire through. the other one. Get your thumb upright so that we have a distinct right and left. And now take this upright portion, get it started, bending it down. And let's take the vice grip and bend it the rest of the way. Now we have a right and left arm. So the final step is to glue the arms on to the torso. your puppet and find the sides of the arms that you want to be the thumbs. Put the thumbs forward. Be sure your puppet is forward. Then take your arms and line them up to the side of your torso. Then them in place and then at the top we'll want to glue down just half of the fabric up near the neck. This will allow it so it can have lots of movement in the shoulder joint. So, take regular wood glue and glue it down. To the other side. And there we have it. That is how to make marionette arms.